Today we play through Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, but our starter Pokemon is the legendary Darkrai, and we'll also have a shiny Darkrai joining us too. The good luck and bad luck that you will see in these battles is absolutely unbelievable. These are very animated battles, and I hope you enjoy this video. Alright, let's start off with the first rival battle in the game. Here is our rival. Hey, ZX Manny, tell me you got a little tougher. Me? Do you even need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, let's battle it out. So... This guy thinks that we started off with a Piplup as a starter Pokemon, but little does he know that our starter Pokemon is actually a Darkrai. So he starts off with his Starly, and he's going to send out his Turtwig next, but we start off with our Darkrai here. So Darkrai's original moves are only Confuse Ray and Disable, actually, and it isn't until level 11 that we learn the move Quick Attack. So if we use Confuse Ray here, oh, Confuse Ray, even though it's a Ghost-type move, it's still does affect normal type Pokemon. That's kind of interesting because ghost type moves don't normally affect normal type Pokemon, but Confuse Ray does. So he can still confuse this Starly. It can attack itself in confusion like this, but it isn't until level 11 that we actually learn our first damaging move, Quick Attack. So that's why this Dark Ride that we have over here is level 11. We can do Quick Attack. That's pretty powerful. Pretty powerful for a move that's normally effective and it's also the not even the same type bonus, but we are quite a few levels higher than that Starly. Yeah, so he sends out his Turtwig over here, and we're gonna start off with a Confuse Ray on it, of course. So let's Confuse his Turtwig over here. Man, if I was the rival right now, I would be so upset that Professor Rowan gave my rival a Dark Ride to start with. I would think, what did this rival do to deserve Dark Ride as a starter? Yeah, but after a couple quick attacks, and we're also getting lucky with- Oh, he snapped out of confusion finally. Okay, uses withdraw. But we sh still should be able to finish it off with a quick attack. I think this is a pretty good rival battle that we've got right here. It's kind of sad that our only damaging move is quick attack. It's too bad that we don't have any powerful ghost type moves. We don't have the move that puts our opponent to sleep immediately. Alright, Darkrai, what do you think about this gym leader? Will we be able to take him on? What do you think? Darkrai is looking around restlessly for something. Well... Hopefully what you're looking around for is a battle, because that's what we are going to have here. Okay, so here's the first gym leader of the game. The first time that I took this guy on, it was an absolute mess, because the only moves that we knew were Confuse Ray, Quick Attack, and Disable, and he's got all rock types. So all of our moves were not very effective. We had to just wear down their HP slowly, bit by bit. And what ended up happening was sometimes he would use a potion and heal up his Pokemon, and that was just an absolutely ridiculous battle. So I taught these Dark Rise some new moves. So let's see how these new moves are. So now we know the move Ice Beam. So this should be super effective. So that should make this battle much more manageable, much more tolerable. Yeah, so next he sends out an Onyx, and we used up almost all of our quick attacks to take out his Onyx last time. But now we should be able to maybe take it out with a single Ice Beam. Oh, close, close. Oh, it's because of its sturdy ability that it gets to endure the hit. Okay, so it uses a rock throw on us, throws a rock at us, but that's fine. So we'll just use a Psychic. Now, he uses a Potion, so I guess now we'll get to see if even Psychic is strong enough to take it out. Oh, but its HP didn't go up all the way, so let's see how powerful Psychic is. Let's see, how much damage does that do? Enough to defeat it from that much HP, so that's pretty cool. Man, the way that those graphics look for that psychic attack reminds me of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, which was such a fun game. I'd really love to play through that sometime. I played it as a kid, but never beat it, so I'd love to finish the Switch version sometime. I think that could be really fun. Okay, let's use an Ice Beam over here. Take out this Kranidos over here. Oh, don't even take it out. It was just normally effective. Okay, it uses a Leer that... That decreases our defense a bit over here. No way! Not yet! Not giving up! I wonder if he's gonna heal his Pokemon now. Let's use a Psychic here. Yeah, he uses a Potion, of course. Let's see if Psychic is enough to finish him off now. He's got a bit more than half health. I'm expecting that maybe that'll defeat him. Let's see. And that defeats him. Okay. So once we have attacks that are normally effective or super effective, and not every attack is not very effective, that makes this gym battle a lot easier. I'm so glad that I taught these guys Ice Beam and Psychic. That made this so much better. And here is our first gym badge as a reward. The Cole Badge. And Darkrai looks so cool following me around here. I've got to take out Shiny Darkrai too and see what it looks like. 
Darkrai, how was that battle? Did you find what you were looking for? Darkrai appears to be a little nervous. Don't worry, Darkrai, the gym battles are going to be easy. There's no need to be nervous. All right, so here we go. So here's our second gym leader, Gardenia. Let's face off against her. I'm not too worried about this because she has grass type Pokemon, so I'm not expecting this to be very difficult. So let's try this. Let's see how this goes. Let's use, let's start off with an Ice Beam over here. I think an Ice Beam will be fine. Okay, so the Ice Beam, of course, takes it out in a single hit, which is very nice. Okay, and next, she sends out a Turtwig. I'm also not very worried about this one. We're even a bit under-leveled. We're three levels lower right now. Okay, we get to go first with an Ice Beam. That Turtwig looked so happy right before that Ice Beam hit it. It was dancing around and smiling with joy. But then an Ice Beam took it out in a single hit. It's not the end yet. Well, all right, let's see how powerful your final Pokemon will be. Rose Rate, level 22. It's six levels higher than me. It gets to go first, it uses a Stun Spore. Okay, we are paralyzed, the battle is about to get interesting. We might not win this one actually, let's see how this goes. Okay, we use an Ice Beam, get to attack, we're not paralyzed. How much damage does that do? <gasps> Less than half. Oh, but Roserade is frozen, what luck we have. That's pretty unbelievable, okay. Now then, should I use a Quick Attack to weaken a bit and then an Ice Beam to finish it off? Or do I just go for an Ice Beam or a Psychic right now? Let's go for a Quick Attack now, let's see. Okay, we do a quick attack. How much does that do? Ah, uh, not as much as I would have liked it to do. Ah, oh, I should have just gone for a powerful attack because it has a citrus berry. Okay. okay it's still frozen solid though. So two psychic, two psychics should finish it off unless she heals. Let's see, so we use one psychic. Yeah, but this might get it into the red now. Let's see. Yeah, it's in the red now. She's probably gonna heal now. What do you have to say about this, Gardenia? Are you saying something? You think you have me cornered? Well, your Pokemon's in the red, it's frozen. But, yeah, you're gonna use the Super Potion. What, you, like, she's talking smack, she's like, what, you think you're gonna finish off my Pokemon? And then she uses a potion on it. Okay, so we'll use the Psychic here, that should get it to, yeah, a bit over half. Now it'll just take two more Psychics to finish it off, I guess. I love that Rosary got frozen, that's actually so funny. And it's great that we've been able to land all of our hits and we haven't been paralyzed yet. Okay, one more hit to finish it off. Oh, and its special defense went down. Now its special defense goes down. Okay, will we finally be paralyzed? She uses another potion! What is this? How many potions are you going to use? But you know what? Her Roserade has been frozen for a while and paralysis still hasn't made us not attack yet. We've had quite some luck. Okay, one more psychic now. We'll finish it off. Okay, its special defense fell. One more psychic is all we need. Is she gonna... Okay, it thawed out. Okay, there we go. Okay, it uses Grass Nut. How much damage does that do? Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Was I at full HP before that hit? Because that was a lot of damage. That brought me down to 2 HP. I didn't expect that. Well, she is defeated. We did defeat Gardenia. What do you have to say about this, Darkrai? What do you think about this gym? Purple Rye looks like it wants to play. Well, we are going to be doing some playing in this gym indeed. I like how Darkrai fits right there in the cutscene. So we are up against gym leader number three, the fighting type Pokemon user. But some of her Pokemon, like this first one, is a fighting psychic type. So that means that psychic is just normally effective. So let's see how we fare against this gym leader. Let's start off with a psychic. This should just be normally effective. Oh, that's pretty good for a normally effective move. Okay, and she uses a light screen, but they're probably gonna heal this Pokemon. Yeah, they use the Hyper Potion. And it's too bad that they got up a light screen because now Psychic is going to do less damage. Let's see how much damage Quick Attack does. That's pretty powerful for Quick Attack. Okay, but it's too bad that now Psychic won't finish it off. Let's see, how much will Psychic do? That'll do... Yeah, okay, so one more Psychic should finish it off. Oh, but it uses Bulk up here. That puts up what, Attack and Defense or what? Let's see, Attack, Attack and Defense. Okay, that's right. So Psychic should finish it off. So this Meditite here isn't going to be a huge threat. Goodbye, Meditite. Meditite fainted. Okay, one Pokemon down. Who is up next? Up next is Machoke. Ah, you know what? This is actually gonna be really interesting because Light Screen is active, so that means that special moves will do less damage, but Psychic's super effective, so let's see how much damage it'll do. Oh, less than half even, man. Okay, and it uses Bulldoze. Pretty powerful, 20 damage, and that decreases our speed, I believe. Yeah, speed fell, so you know what? Why not use a Confuse right here? 
just, in a way, I'm kind of stalling because I want the light screen to wear off. And maybe it'll hurt itself in confusion. Let's see what happens. Will it attack? Attacks itself in confusion. That's too bad. Does it have a berry? It doesn't have a berry, so Psychic might finish it off here. Let's see. Will Psychic finish it off? Let's see. All right. Psychic finishes it off. That's very nice. I probably should have started with a Confuse right there, but I wanted to see how much damage Psychic would do. I was curious. Oh, but this isn't the end, my friend! Sent out Lucario. I remember this one caused some trouble in my most recent casual playthrough of this game. So let's start off with a Confuse right here. Oh, it's faster! Oh, and fighting super effective on Dark! I forgot about that. This could be a problem. This could be a problem. What do we do here? We sent out Purple Rye. But what do we do? Do we use a Confuse Ray or do we go for a Psychic? This is such a tough choice. You know what? I've got to go for the Confuse right here. Hopefully it hurts itself in confusion and it doesn't attack me. That would be amazing. Because Lucario is a very powerful Pokemon, as we saw. Let's see. Please hurt yourself in confusion. Please. No, it used Drain Punch. I'm dead in one hit. Oh my goodness. That What an unexpected turn of events. All right, let's... Mm, you know, no, we've got to use the Confuse Ray. We have to get lucky with the Confuse Ray, I think. Let's see. Okay, please hurt yourself in confusion. Come on. Finally! We got Lucario to hurt himself in confusion. And that did a lot of damage for hurting itself in confusion. And let's see how much Psychic can do. Hopefully it finishes it off. I don't know if it will. Let's see. So close! And we made it special defense. Well, if it hurts, it's... No! What? Why would you use Screech? Why would you use Screech? You could take me out in a single hit with the Drain Punch. Why would you do this? Oh my goodness. Thank you. Yeah, you are in a bit of a bind. You're probably going to try and heal, right? Yeah, you use a Hyper Potion, but your special defense fell, so Psychic might just take you out now. Let's see. Does it take out Lucario? Does it? Oh, it's close. It's close, but hopefully she tries to heal again. Yeah, okay, she tries to heal again. If we get a critical hit, that'd be great. But anyways, I think we still are faster than Lucario anyway, so I think we will be able to take out- Oh my goodness, I got so lucky. I got so lucky that they decided to use Screech. Yeah, and there we go. Now we get to finally take out that Lucario. Okay, so that fight was a lot tougher than I thought it would be. We actually have to level up our Pokemon a bit, and we have to get pretty lucky. Fighting type is super effective against Dark. And there we go, we finally get gym badge number three from all of those trebles. Alright, Dark Knight, what did you think about that gym battle? That was a pretty tough one, wasn't it? Purple Rye appears embarrassed for some reason. Maybe you're embarrassed because you're supposed to be a legendary Pokemon and we're having trouble at gym leader number three. Alright, here is the water type gym. We're gonna face off against Crash Awake. What do you have to say about this, Dark Knight? What are your thoughts? Purple Rye wants to move faster and is tugging at you. Alright, but well, let's get to the gym leader then. Alright. Here is gym leader number four, Crash Awake. He starts off with a Gyarados, the water flying type Pokemon. That means that Electric is double super effective against it because Electric is super effective against water and flying. Oh, but it has the Intimidate ability. That makes our attack fall, but not our special attack. But I think this Gyarados has the berry that makes Electricity do less damage. Let's see. We attack. Oh, we take it out in a single hit. I don't know if the berry didn't get activated because it would have been defeated in one hit anyways, or if it just wasn't using the berry. Okay, Quagsire is out next. Oh, this is going to be an interesting choice because that's a water ground type, so we can't use electric because it won't affect it at all. So do we use Psychic or Confuse Ray to start? Let's use a Psychic over here. Let's see how much damage that'll do. Maybe half? Hopefully half? About half. Okay. So the next attack might defeat it. Okay, so it uses Rain Dance. That doesn't deal any damage. But now, water attacks are more powerful. So let's use another Psychic. Please defeat it. Please, please, please don't leave it with a bit of HP. Hooray! Quagsire is defeated. All right. So it's very, it's very refreshing to have a battle like this now. Hey, there. That was a good move. Thank you, thank you. I thought it was a pretty good move. I do quite like Psychic myself. Okay, float so. Now we can go back to Thunderbolt. I don't know if a Thunderbolt will take it out in a single move though. Oh, it used Brine. It's faster. It's a pretty fast Pokemon, I guess. That did quite a bit of damage. We used Thunderbolt and it's defeated in a single hit. So we didn't win this gym without taking any damage, but we didn't lose any Pokemon and it was much easier than the previous gym battle. The last gym battle was 
gym battle, let's put it this way, gym battle number three was definitely the hardest gym battle so far by far. The first gym leader would have been very, very difficult if we used only quick attack and confuse ray and disable. So getting some other moves definitely helped there. She spins around. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you brought another purple Pokemon to me. I am wearing a purple dress. Would you like to give your Pokemon to me? Ho, ho, ho. And it is time to face gym leader number five, Fantina, the ghost type user. We've got a nice purple area. Nice place for a shiny Mewtwo, like in our only Mewtwo and shiny Mewtwo challenge. Wait, no, but regular Mewtwo is purple. Shiny purple, shiny Mewtwo is green instead of purple. So I guess regular Mewtwo fits better here. But shiny Darkrai looks very, very nice here. This looks like the kind of Pokemon that she might use. Okay, let's use a Thunderbolt here to start off because that's a ghost flying type Pokemon. And it takes it out in a single hit. Very nice, very nice. Oh, it's a critical hit. I wonder if we needed the critical hit. But that's a great start to the fight so far. Okay, who's she sending out next? Gengar. So Psychic should be pretty powerful against it because it'll be super effective. So let's see how this does. No! It's faster! It knows Dazzling Gleam, and we are dead! It is super effective because very super effective against Dark. That's not good. Wait! I have no more Pokemon that can fight! I didn't heal before the gym battle. Okay, now we are all healed up, so hopefully we have a better shot. We're also leveled up a bit, so let's see how this fight will go. Hopefully we'll be able to be okay in this battle over here. Let's start off just like last time, using a Thunderbolt over here. And how much damage does that do? Did we need the critical hit? It looks like we needed the critical hit. It uses Will-O-Wisp. Okay, we are now burned, so we're gonna take some burn damage every turn. Which is okay. Hopefully it isn't a huge deal. We took just five damage, but now if someone uses the attack Hex on us, it's gonna be extremely powerful. She, of course, uses a Hyper Potion on her Pokemon, fully heals it. Oh, almost fully heals it. So Thunderbolt should probably almost defeat it. Oh, we actually did defeat it. Okay, so it looks like there's a bit... Oh, now we get the critical hit. Okay, too bad we couldn't get that critical hit in the first turn. Take some more burn damage, another five damage. We're down to 85. Now then, will Gengar still be faster than us, or are we faster than Gengar now? Let's see, a Psychic would be great if we could do it. It's still faster! Uses Dazzling Gleam. We survive! We survive. Okay, now how good is Psychic? That should be super effective, but it's not same type attack bonus. Almost defeats it, but it's still okay. Okay, so the description of the move Sucker Punch is this move enables the user to attack first. This move fails if the target is not readying an attack. Does readying an attack, does that mean something like Solar Beam where it takes two turns to use? Or do they mean using any attack? Because I don't know if she's going to heal her Gengar or if she's going to attack. Let's try. Let's see, I guess. We use Sucker Punch. It uses a berry. Is that to make dark attacks weaker? Okay, okay, okay. Well, either way, either way, we got to attack. That's very nice. I'm just glad that we got to use that. It's too bad that Sucker Punch was disabled, though. Uh-oh, because of Gengar's cursed body ability. Now let's see who's being sent out now. Oh, heavens, what is this? My final Pokemon? And they sent out a Miss Magius, level 36. This is scary, I can't use Sucker Punch, because Sucker Punch is disabled. Should I try using a Confuse Ray? I don't know if we are faster. I guess I'll try using a Confuse Ray. Let's risk it, but it is faster, so it gets to go first. Now then, what should we do here? It's funny, our Pokemon, everything is uh, so similar in terms of colors over here. You know what, I think Thunderbolt or Sucker Punch would probably be the best, because Sucker Punch, would be same type of You know what? I think Sucker Punch might actually be better than Thunderbolt here. Because Sucker Punch would be same type attack bonus, plus super effective, plus it's pretty powerful. But Thunderbolt has the chance of paralyzing them. I'm gonna go for Sucker Punch. Let's see. How powerful is this? Ah, not good enough. Almost good enough. Do we die? Yes, we survive! We survive! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, man. Never give up, no matter what. Now the question is, is she gonna heal? Let's see. Ah, we get to use Sucker Punch and go first and defeat it. Let's go. What a great move. Okay. Oh, man, but it's scary because you don't want Sucker Punch to fail. Ah, uh, but we did it. We won. That was a lot closer than I thought it would be. I thought that would be a super easy fight, but it looks like we looks like we won this one. And doesn't this over here, hold on. Doesn't this look like she owns this Pokemon? This looks like the type of Pokemon that she would own in a hard mode version of this game. All right, Dark Rye, here's gym number six. What do you think about this? Any thoughts? Purple Rye looks like it's having fun. Yes, we are having fun. 
Well, it is now time to battle against Byron, gym leader number six, also the father of gym leader number one, a fun fact about him. Okay, so he starts off with a bronzer, which is a steel psychic type, and his steel types have been giving me a lot of trouble because of the type matchups that we have over here. So let's see how our shiny dark ray can do against this bronzer over here. I guess we'll start off with a confuse ray. Let's see how well confuse ray can do against this one. Let's see. Hopefully it gets confused and it attacks itself because otherwise it'll probably use Trick Room and Trick Room makes it so that the slower Pokemon goes first. So let's see. It gets to use Trick Room. Okay, so now it's normally going to be going first. So should I start trying to use Sucker Punch on it now? Because the description of Sucker Punch is this move fails if the target is not readying an attack. So let's see. We used Sucker Punch, but it failed. So what does that mean? What attack is it using? It uses Sandstorm, so I guess unless it uses some actual damaging attack, then Sucker Punch doesn't work. I think that's the way that it works. So if this guy keeps using like Sandstorm, Confuse Ray, and stuff like that, then these attacks won't do anything. Let's try Sucker Punch again, let's see. And it failed, why? Is it because it's using Confuse Ray? Let's see. Oh, it hurt itself in confusion. Well, that's nice. Okay, we are hurt by the Sandstorm. I guess I'll use an Ice Beam. It would be, oh, it snapped out of Confusion now. Now it uses Confuse, right? That's fine, that's fine. I don't mind you confusing me. I would just like you to start attacking me so I can use Sucker Punch on you and hopefully deal some damage. Let's see, we are confused. We still managed to get out an Ice Beam over here. Not a lot of damage, a decent amount of damage for something that's not very effective though. Now let's see, it'll probably use... Hopefully it uses an actual damaging attack now. Let's try using Sucker Punch. Okay, we are confused, and we hurt ourselves in confusion. We didn't even get to use Sucker Punch. The one time that, yeah, now it uses Flash Cannon. The one time it's actually doing a damaging attack, we don't get to use Flash Cannon. All right, let's try using Sucker Punch again. I, oh, the Twisted Dimensions return to normal. Does that mean that he's gonna use, does that mean that he's gonna use Trick Room again? I guess I'll use Ice Beam. Wait. Oh, okay, okay, I'm the one that snapped out of confusion. I was confused. I'm like, wait a minute, how did he snap out of confusion? Okay, they use Trick Room now. But wait, does that mean that he is going to use... Is he gonna use Sand... Oh, and Sandstorm also went away, so I wonder if he's gonna use Sandstorm or Confuse Ray first, let's see. Okay, he uses Sandstorm first, well that's nice, I'm not confused. I'd rather he use Sandstorm than Confuse Ray. So let's see. I don't know if we can defeat him with Ice Beam or if he'll have a bit of health left, let's see. Please? Yes! Okay! Okay, Bronzo's defeated, that's fine. Pretty tough fight so far. That did a lot of damage to my Purple Rye over here, even though Purple Rye is a much higher level. Yeah, we're already more than half dead, and Steelix is out next, and I think the dimensions are twisted right now, so Steelix will go first, because the slower Pokemon goes first. Let's see. Thunderfang? Whoa, what is that? I thought it would use Earthquake. I was sure it would use Earthquake. Okay, let's see. Ice Beam? More than half defeated. Okay, well, this is going nicely. I wonder if it'll use Earthquake now. Oh, I could use Sucker Punch to go first, probably. Let's try this. Let's see if this can do- Oh, he uses a full restore. That's sneaky. Wait, that means that my attack isn't going to do anything, doesn't it? Isn't that what that means? Oh, no. I didn't think that his HP was low enough to trigger him using a full restore. All right, I guess we'll use an Ice Beam. Wait, but he gets to go first. Gyro Bolt, that kills me, doesn't it? Doesn't it? <gasps> I survived with one HP, toughed it out so you wouldn't feel sad. Thank you, Darkrai. Thank you, or Purple Rye. Thank you, thank you so much, Purple Rye. Okay, how much does Ice Beam do? Gets it into the red. Oh no, but the Sandstorm defeats me. That's so sad. I forgot about the Sandstorm, no. Oh, the Twisted Dimensions return to normal. That is perfect because now we can send out Darkrai and we should be able to finish it off now with an Ice Beam. Ice Beam should be good. Oh, he uses another potion. Okay, all right, sure, use another potion. Now then, do we, oh, it goes all the way back up to full HP. Okay, so let's use this Ice Beam. So this Ice Beam isn't going to defeat the Steelix, but one more Ice Beam should. Okay, and the Sandstorm is gone. Tricky Room isn't active. Trick Room isn't active. Okay, so this Ice Beam will hopefully take it out. Unless it uses like Sturdy or something. Don't, okay, good. It didn't use Sturdy. Thank you for not using Sturdy. All right, let's see. What do you have to say about this? Oh, what's this? My last one. This is where we make our stand. Let's take a look at his Bastion, level 39. Uh, what's my best shot here? I don't know if Foul Play or Ice Beam is better here, or Psychic in trying to get its def special defense down. Or should I try to freeze it? I don't know what the best strategy is here. Oh man. Let's do... Uh, 
Or do I go for the confuse rate? Man, like there's so many good strategies here, but I don't know which one would be good enough because some of them are very luck dependent. All right, let's try an ice beam. Oh, I should have started with the confuse rate. As soon as I did it, I'm like, you know what? Maybe a confuse rate to start would be better. Yeah, because that's not very effective. He's not frozen. Iron defense. Oh wait, that just puts up his regular defense, not special defense. So that's good for us, I guess. So now the dark type move is out of the question. So let's use a confuse ray, I guess. Maybe we could get him to hurt himself in confusion a few times if we get lucky. That'd be ideal. Because every time he hurts himself in confusion, he's not attacking me. So that would be amazing. So please hurt yourself in confusion. Hooray! Uh, barely any damage. So I guess maybe Psychic would be good to lower his special defense. We should do a few Psychics over here. Hopefully we could lower his special defense. That'd be amazing if we could do that. And, ah, oh, that's so sad. Hurt yourself in confusion, please. Ha 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 ha. Hurt himself in confusion twice in a row. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Hopefully this guy doesn't use a full restore soon. Okay, Psychic, please, please lower his special defense. Please. No! And he's got a berry. Oh, man. How much HP is that going to recover? That's so much HP. Okay, hurt yourself in confusion a third time in a row, please. No, they get to attack Flash Cannon. How powerful is that? Pretty powerful. Pretty powerful. Gotta say, that's a pretty strong attack. Okay, please put down their special defense. Please. Please. Oh, that was a critical hit? That was a critical hit? Man, that was like how much HP he had... Okay, good. And he hurt himself in confusion. That's like how much HP he had before he ate the berry. How you know what? This guy's been confused for like four turns already. We're not done yet. There's no giving up. All right. Maybe I should have been using Ice Beam because maybe with an Ice Beam I could have froze him. But I'm scared that he's going to use a full restore. Come on. Lower his special defense. All right. Snapped out of confusion. That's not good. Flash cannon. Okay. Please don't kill me. Please don't. Okay, good. Oh, that was a critical hit. Wow. Okay. I would have thought that a critical hit might have maybe even killed me. All right, now then, Ice Beam. I guess I'm gonna go with an Ice Beam here. Oh, maybe I should have done a Confuse, right? I'm gonna go with the Ice Beam. If we freeze him, that'd be amazing. Killing him would be even better. But none of that happened, Flash Cannon. Please let me survive, please, bro, please. Okay, good, 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 good. Now don't heal. Do not heal, okay? Please promise you won't heal. Thank you. Ha <laughs> ha ha, man. That's so lucky that he didn't heal. Okay, because he healed on his previous Pokemon twice. So I guess that's why he didn't heal here. Oh, what a relief. What a great relief. Oh, man. That gym battle was much tougher than I thought it would be. Even with my very strong Pokemon here, it was still tough. He almost took us down, actually. Even though we are quite a bit over-leveled, that's quite a tough type matchup with the moves that we have. Time for Candice, gym leader number seven, the ice-type user, and... This is another fight that I'm a little bit worried about because she's got some ice type Pokemon. This is an ice grass type that she starts off with, but we can't teach Darkrai any good fire type moves. If we had fire type moves, they'd be doubly super effective against her, but we don't have any good fire type moves, so what are we going to do here? We could try a Psychic. Psychic would be normally effective. Drain Punch would also be normally effective and that would heal us. Let's start off with a Psychic. Let's see how that does. Let's see, how much damage will that do? Oh! 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 Okay! Okay, that's pretty strong! Even though that's just normally effective, that's pretty strong for something that's normally effective. Okay, Metacham is out now. Now this is a fighting psychic type, and fighting is super effective against Dark, so that is not good. That is, in fact, bad. Oh! Should I use Sucker Punch here? Because that would be, I think, end up being normally effective, because it's probably going to do an attack so let's do this, let's do this, please. Yes, we get to go first. And it half defeats it. Brick Break, how much damage does that do? It does a lot, it's super effective. It defeats us in one turn. Hey, Metacham's hurt by the hail. Ah, oh, it's too bad that this Darkrai doesn't know Sucker Punch. If this Darkrai knew Sucker Punch, then we'd be able to use Sucker Punch. But instead, should I use Foul Play or should I use Psychic? That is the question. Let's use Foul Play. Please be faster. Yes, we are faster. Thank goodness we're faster. And we took we took out the Metachamp. Oh, that's a huge relief. That might have been her scariest Pokemon. But we're down to our final Pokemon. And we still have to take out two of her Pokemon. Sneasel. How are we going to take out Sneasel? That is a dark ice type. Ah, if only we also knew Drain Punch. Because Drain Punch would have been double super effective against it. I guess all we have is Thunderbolt. So let's use the Thunderbolt. Okay, half defeats it. Not bad. 
He uses Avalanche. Does a lot of damage there. And the hail hits us. Okay, let's use the Thunderbolt. That should finish it off, right? Because its HP is pretty low, right? Okay, good. Sneasel has been defeated. Now she is going to be down to our final Pokemon. What is your final Pokemon going to be, Candice? Okay, first we're hit by the hail, of course. Got 35 HP left. I'm going to break the ice and bring out my last resort Pokemon. All right, let's see. Psychic took out the non-evolved form of this in a single turn, so let's see if we can do it with this Pokemon, please. Please, 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 please. No, that's so sad. That did so little damage. We're definitely dead. We're definitely dead. Giga Drain? What the? Oh, we are dead. Okay. All right, let's see how we can do against this Obama Snow. Uh, Obama Snow. Obama Snow now. We're going to use a Drain Punch now. Let's see. Oh, okay. That took away more than half of its total health. That's fine. I'm all right with that. Just don't kill me in a single hit, please. Oh, but it has a berry. It has a berry that heals it. Heals it quite a bit. Aurora Veil. What does that do? Don't put up like... Stronger against physical and special moves. Uh-oh. That means my attack's gonna be weaker now. Oh, well, let's just use another Drain Punch, I guess. See, that did very little damage. This isn't good. Okay, we get healed. What attack is it gonna use now? Blizzard or something else? Okay, Blizzard. And of course it lands. It just doesn't miss. Hmm, and that did quite a bit of damage. Now, even if we use a Drain Punch, I don't know if we'll get healed enough HP to be able to survive. Let's see. Yeah, and we can't finish it off, of course. So let's see, how much HP do we get from that? And she's probably gonna use a potion to heal. Let's see, what is it? Use Blizzard. And we're dead, right? <gasps> yes! No, 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 but the, the snowstorm, the, the hail stopped, the hail stopped, the hail stopped. <laughs> uh, but she's gonna use a potion, isn't she? A potion or a full restore, right? Yes. Oh, just a Hyper Potion, so that's not horrible. Oh, actually, uh, that's a lot of HP. Um, how much HP do we heal from that? Probably not a lot. Yeah, not a lot. Oh, no, that Aurora Veil attack is so difficult. You know what? Confuse Ray might be my only shot now. I guess I'll use Confuse Ray. It's the only shot I have of winning this. If it, if it hurts itself in Confusion and then I can get a few heals... That's the only way that I could possibly win. Let's see. Please hurt yourself in confusion. Oh! Okay, okay. The luck continues. And the Aurora Veil will wore off. So now, let's use a Drain Punch now. So that should heal us some more. <gasps> okay! And we defeated it. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. That luck was unbelievable. That was such a close victory. I'm surprised at how close that victory was, but that was quite the beautiful victory. Oh man, that Confuse Ray really came in handy there. And there is badge number seven for us. It is time to face the final gym leader before the Elite Four, Volknar. Let's see how strong his electric type Pokemon will be. He starts off with a Raichu. Wait a minute, and Raichu normally uses U-Turn. So let's see what we will use against it. Psychic, Foul Play, Drain Punch. There are so many good options here. You know what? Hmm. If it uses U-Turn, then I think maybe I'd like to use Drain Punch. Oh, Volt Switch. Okay, yeah, so it's not U-Turn. It's Volt Switch. That's what it's called. Okay, so it goes back. So that's the electric type version of U-Turn, where it's like it attacks. Oh, wait, is this normal or normal fighting? I hope it's just normal. Okay, it has a berry that makes fighting type moves do less damage on it. So I'm guessing it's just normal because it should be super effective. Okay, how much HP do we heal? We heal a bit of HP from that. That's not bad. Okay, so it's Choppleberry gets used up. So you know what? Let's do another Drain Punch. It used Fake Out. And Fake Out does a... That's a critical hit too. That does a lot more damage than you'd expect. Okay, let's use Drain Punch. No! No, it's faster! How many... No! That's so unlucky. All right. Let's see... We have one of our Pokemon have fainted, and zero of their Pokemon have fainted. This is really quite the tricky situation we have got here. Let's go for a Drain Punch. Let's see, it uses Thunderbolt. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Not a huge amount of damage. We use a Drain Punch. Oh, that almost finishes it off, but he's probably going to heal. But at least we're at full health, which is nice. Um, 
I guess I'll just use a drain punch. Yeah, he uses a full restore. That's fine. I guess we'll just use a drain punch here. That's probably our best option. He could probably do more than half damage. Yeah, it does a bit more than half damage. So one more drain punch should take it out. So we're already at full health, so it doesn't really matter. Wait, last resort. What does that do? Oh, that did quite a bit of damage. Ah, oh, and it's so sad that that guy's faster than me. It's so sad that the Ambipalm is faster than me because that did quite a bit of damage. Look, we're almost in the yellow now. We're just above half health, and we've only taken out one of Volkner's Pokemon. Okay, he sends out Raichu. Raichu's probably going to use Volt Switch again, right? Right? Yeah, he uses Volt Switch again, so he gets to attack first. Does quite a bit of damage. Now it switches out to someone else. Who, Octillery or the other one? Yeah, Octillery. I wonder if we're going to be able to take out his Luxray. Let's see, let's try this Drain Punch here. That does very little damage. Oh, too bad we don't know Thunderbolt anymore. Maybe I should reteach Thunderbolt. Cause yeah, if it uses like Octazooka or something on me, then we're in trouble. And Octillery's just a water type, not water poison. So I guess I'll use a Drain Punch. We're probably dead after this turn though. It's probably, we're probably dead either this turn or the next turn. Let's see. Let's see. Octazooka, and are we dead? Oh, okay, 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 sure. What goes down? Accuracy. Ah, oh, that's so sad. Accuracy fell. Okay, use another drain punch. Now we're probably almost guaranteed dead this turn, right? Right, let's see. It's the deck this. This is so silly. Okay, we use drain punch. Now it. Uh... Wait! <laughs> <laughs> How are we not dead? How are we not dead? What is happening here is unbelievable. My attack misses. It attacks. We hang on with one HP because our Pokemon toughs it out. This is unbelievable. Okay, but we can finish it off now, right? Yeah, okay, we can finish it off. That luck is absolutely unreal. But now it's probably going to be Raichu, and then Raichu is going to use Volt Switch, right? Let's see. Let's see. You're going to use Volt Switch, aren't you? And we're dead, aren't we? Yep. Alright, so we trained up to be a bit stronger now. Hopefully we can do better in this fight now. So let's see, you know what? Starting off with a Drain Punch I think is a good move. Yeah, because it's very likely going to use Volt Switch. That'll deal some... That dealt uh, more damage than I thought it would. Alright, but it's probably going to be Ambipalm is out now. I wonder if now we will be faster than Ambipalm or if Ambipalm will still be faster. Okay, it still has a Chopple Berry. So our fighting type move does less damage than it normally would because of that berry. How much do we heal from that? Not bad. I wonder if it's going to use Fake Out. You know what? I really wonder if it's going to use Fake Out. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to assume that he's going to use Fake Out. And I'm going to swap Pokemon so his Fake Out does nothing. Hopefully he uses Fake Out. I'm really hoping he uses Fake Out. If he does, then he has been bamboozled. Let's see. Did he fall for my trap? Ha 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 ha! Wait! You can still use Fake Out? I thought, I thought Fake Out doesn't work if you swap. I thought it only works on the first turn. What in the world is this? Okay, and it gets to go first with Thunderbolt. Oh man, okay, well let's use a Drain Punch. How powerful is that? Ha 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 ha! It has been defeated with Drain Punch. Does that heal me to full? How much does that heal me? Not to full, but we got a decent amount of HP. Okay, this is fine. This is fine, this is fine. Okay, who's out next, Raichu? Now then. I'm assuming that he's going to use Vault Switch and switch to Octillery, so using Thunderbolt might be good. Because then we'd get to get a Thunderbolt on it. I could try to use a Drain Punch or a Psychic in case he doesn't switch. You know what? I'm going to use a Thunderbolt. No, he doesn't switch! Why are you not switching? You're supposed to switch, bro! Bro, what are you doing? You're supposed to switch! Why aren't you switching, bro, 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 bro? Oh, no! Okay, let's use this. Now he uses Volt Switch when I use Psychic. Bro, you're using the wrong moves. AI, you're playing incorrectly. Why are you trying to make this battle so difficult? Okay, well, we land a Psychic over here. How much damage does that do? Oh, that dealt a lot more than I thought it would. So if we did a Thunderbolt, we probably would have taken it out in a single hit. Does it defeat me with Octazooka? It doesn't. Can we attack? Okay, but Octillery is defeated. All right, okay. Ah, uh, man, this is so strange. This is so strange. Wait, does this Dark Rhino Sucker Punch or is it the other one? We know Sucker Punch. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna use Sucker Punch. I get to use Sucker Punch. And we defeat him! <laughs> With a critical hit. Let's go. Take that. <laughs> you fool, Valkner. Here it comes. Get ready for my trump card. <laughs> you fool, Valkner. You fool. You absolute fool. 
Oh, oh no, Intimidate lowers my attack. That was a quick change in mood. You know, I'm gonna use Sucker Punch still, because I'm assuming that he's going to use an attack that does damage, but we're paralyzed, so we'd normally be slower, but this way we get to be faster, but we're paralyzed, so we might not even get to attack, but we'll try it. And not much damage at all. And Iron Tail, of course, defeats us. Okay. We've got one Pokemon left. Oh man, this is very tough. It all comes down to this now. Now, what do I do here? Foul Play, Confuse Ray, Psychic, Drain Punch. Man, almost everything here is a good choice. You know what? Luxray has pretty high attack, so Foul Play would actually be pretty strong against him. Because the way that Foul Play works is the higher the target's attack stat, the greater damage it deals. And we also have same type attack bonus. So you know what? Oh uh, man, I'm gonna risk it. Let's risk it. Let's see how much damage this does. How powerful is this attack? Powerful enough. Worth the risk. Let's go. We did it. We finally beat him. Goodbye, Volkner. GG, bro. All right, time to face our rival. Final rival battle. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hands off the shiny dark eye, bro. Okay, we are now a bit stronger. So let's see if this battle goes better now. So, Intimidate still gets used on us. We still have our attack decrease at the start of the fight. I'm still gonna go for a foul play, though. I don't know if now we're strong enough to take it on one hit. Let's see. Oh, close! Close! Okay, but it still uses a sunny day. But you know what? This is honestly a great start to the battle because it uses a sunny day. He doesn't have any Pokemon that use any fire type moves, or at least in the battles that we've had so far. So, we're just able to take him out like this, and that all works out fine. Everything just works out fine like this. Okay, now with the Rabidash, should I use Confuse Ray or Drain Punch? That is the question. Uh, because it's probably going to use its Bug Horn attack, its Mega Horn attack. This is a tough choice. Okay, let's use... Let's start off with a Drain Punch just to see how much damage it would do. Okay, not horrible. About one third... Oh! Oh, it's Attack Miss! It's Attack Miss! That's so lucky. Uh, I might even go for a Psychic now. Let's see if we could defeat it. That would be amazing. Please. Oh, 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 man, that luck is amazing. I'm so glad that we didn't take a lot of damage. That's an amazing- Oh, wait, no, but Torterra. What am I going to do against the Torterra? Because my other Darkrai is the one that knows Ice Beam. This one doesn't know Ice Beam, so I don't have anything particularly good against this Torterra. I could use Confuse Ray, I guess. Maybe it'll hurt itself in confusion. Let's see. If it hurts itself in confusion, that would be amazing. Please, please do. Please. No! Oh! Oh! Uh, okay! Sure, let me switch for free to my Darkrai that knows Ice Beam. I was actually going to switch to this Pokémon next turn, but you switched to this Pokémon for free just so that you could see your own demise with Ice Beam. Brilliant move! Brilliant move! I'm so glad that you did that. That might have been one of the luckiest things that has happened in a while. It's actually so funny that they used Roar there. Now then. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Drain Punch does quite a bit of damage on this guy, doesn't it? I think Drain Punch is stronger than I thought. Yeah, that does almost half damage. Okay. Now then. It uses high horsepower. That does quite a bit of damage. Oh, actually, not that much. Maybe like one third HP. Okay, let's use a... Oh, no, he withdrew. Who are you switching to? Bro, who are you... Heracross, of course. Of course you switch to Heracross, bro, now my Drain Punch is gonna do like- Oh, that did more than I thought. I thought it would do like almost nothing. But yeah, it's not very effective, but still, we do heal a bit of HP. Not great though. Now then, Psychic will be super effective. Can we take it out in a single hit? Please tell me we can, because I'm terrified of bug types against my dark type, and we can. That's great, that's great. Ah, this is going fantastically. Okay. Who's next? Snorlax is back! Oh, hello again, Snorlax! Welcome back! Ready for another Drain Punch! <laughs> okay, his HP is in the red. I wonder if he's going to heal next turn. I'm kind of hoping that he heals. Because if he heals, then I can keep using Drain Punches and healing a lot of HP. But if he just uses... If he just tries to use high horsepower again, then I'll only heal a bit of HP. Yeah, I only get to heal a bit of HP. It's too bad that he didn't try to heal his Pokemon. But this is fine. We get a bit of HP back. We're at 137 HP. That's not bad. And Snorlax is down. We've burned through quite a few of this guy's Pokemon already. Who does he have? He still has Float, so... Wait, is this his last Pokemon? Is this really his last Pokemon? Did we defeat all the other ones? Yeah, he's down to his last Pokemon. Okay. Okay. 
Now the question is Drain Punch or Psychic? You know what? I'm gonna go for a Drain Punch because Drain Punch is serving us so well. That'll probably bring us to full health, right? Or close to full health. Let's see. Full health. Okay, good, 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 good. And I'm not expecting it to take us out in a single hit. Yeah, there we go. So we get to do it. You know, I'm gonna keep using Drain Punch. There we go. It's down to the red. I wonder if he's gonna heal his Pokemon with a full restore or something. Because this is actually great. Ah, oh, this Drain Punch is fantastic. What a good move. We're not finished yet. We'll get out of this spot because we're so tight. All right, let's see. Can you get out of this spot? Doesn't look like it, I'm afraid. It looks like you have been defeated by Drain Punch Purple Rye. And there's the final Pokemon. But you know what? He's got a pretty solid team. We had to level up quite a bit to be able to defeat him. What went down? My team still needs Raisin! Yep. Darkrai, what do you think? Are you glad that we avenged you for being pushed around now? What are your thoughts about this? Purple Rye is happily dancing about. And so, it is time to go take on the Elite Four! Battle number one. This might be one of the scariest battles because this guy has bug type Pokemon and bug is super effective on dark. Dark Rye, what do you think about this? Purple Rye, what are your thoughts? Purple Rye is happily following behind you. Well, hopefully we are ready for this battle. We need all of the luck that we can get in this battle because we don't have any fire type moves. So if we don't have anything that's going to be very nice against his bug type Pokemon. Hopefully this fight goes okay. Oh, but he starts off with a bug. I believe that's a bug psychic type. So if we use Psychic, that'll be super effective, so that would be nice. All right, Darkrai, let's go. Psychic should be super effective. We'll probably take it out in a single hit, right? Yeah, because we're pretty strong. We're a high level. Yeah, so it's taken out in a single hit. That's very nice. Okay, who is going to be next? I'm a bit worried about some of the other ones because Bug-type moves are very strong against us. Okay, Beautifly, is this Bug flying? I'm guessing this one is Bug flying. So... Psychic or Foul Play, which is better? I am going to go for a Psychic. Let's see if that's good enough to take it out in one hit, please. Maybe, maybe. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, we are nice and powerful. That's very nice. Now who's next? Vespa Queen. This is one of his scariest ones. That knows a move called Attack Order. It is a very powerful bug type move. If only I had Ice Beam, then I'd be able to use Ice Beam because that's bug flying, I think. Let's use a Psychic. I think Psychic might be a good option here. Uh, not great. How strong is attack order? Okay, okay, we're about half dead from that. You know what? Let's try- Ah, oh, I think Drain Punch would be double not very effective. Foul Play will be normally effective, I think. Let's see how powerful this one is, because it's the same type attack bonus. Ah, uh, it's in the red. Oh, but it heals. It's actually good that it heals. I think it's good, depending on how much it heals. Mm okay, so this Dark Rye is probably gonna die right now. Let's see. Yeah, this Dark Rye is dead. Now our next Dark Rye has to take out the rest of his Pokemon. Oh, but we are met with a difficult question. You know what? I think Ice Beam would be better than Psychic here because this purple Rye does know Ice Beam. So that would be super effective, I think. This should be super effective, so this should finish it off. Let's see. Very nice. It is defeated and it's super effective. Okay, that's amazing. Because it's a part flying type, so ice is super effective on it. Okay, Heric- Oh! Oh, I forgot about Heracross, okay. So, Psychic should be super effective because it's part fighting type. So this should defeat it in a single hit, I think. Okay, that's very nice, that's very nice. Okay, finally, 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 we are getting to a point in the game where we are doing pretty okay. Drapion, wait a minute, wait a minute. What type is this guy again? Drapion is a poison dark type. So Psychic does nothing. Wait, Poison, Dark? So Fighting would be normally effective. Ice Beam would be normally effective. Huh, that's a tough choice now. Do I use Ice Beam or Drain Punch? You know what? Let's use Ice Beam. We'll use Drain Punch next turn maybe because Drain Punch should be normally effective. Oh, Ice Beam have to be X. Is it? How much damage does that do? Okay, okay. I was very worried that that would do a lot more. And wait a minute, doesn't that attack have a high chance of landing a critical hit? Oh, and this is his final Pokemon. Okay, if I use Ice Beam, it should finish it off. So I'm gonna use an Ice Beam here. Let's see. Ice Beam, finish it off, please. Yes, there we go. I was tempted to use Drain Punch to heal some HP, but if he landed a critical hit, well, if he survived and landed a critical hit, then we probably would have lost. Okay, so that fight wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I thought that it would be harder. All right, Elite Four number two, Bertha the ground type user. That means she's gonna have some Pokemon with Earthquake and Earthquake's an incredibly powerful move. How are we gonna get through her five Pokemon? What good moves do we have? Okay, Quagsire's water ground type. If we had a grass move, that would be amazing. I don't think that Darkrai can learn Grass Knot, 
If we could learn Grass Knot, that would be amazing. It'd be double super effective. Could you use Drain Punch? That would be normally effective. This is normally effective. This is normally effective. Let's use Foul Play because the stronger... I don't think that Quagsire has a pretty strong normal attack. Let's see. Yeah, that didn't do much. No! We have been poisoned with Toxic. This is not good. This is not very good because we get poison damage. And not only do we get poison damage, but we get more damage every turn. So this Quagsire is going to be quite the formidable opponent. Let's use a Psychic, I guess. Let's see how much damage that does. And maybe I'll use Drain Punch next turn. Maybe not. Oh, Psychic was... Oh, excuse me. Quagsire knows Recover. Excuse me. And it has leftovers. Great, so it poisons you and then it starts using Recover. Oh, man. I'd love to have its special defense fall. Because you know what? If it attacks me with like an Earthquake or something this turn, okay, it uses another Recover. If it attacks me with an Earthquake, then she'll probably just use a full Restore the next turn. Let's see, Quagsire restores HP with Recover and with Leftovers. Meanwhile, we're just getting poisoned to death over here. Let's use another Psychic, I guess. Will this defeat it? Probably not, right? It'll have a bit of HP. Okay, it is defeated, okay. First Pokemon down, and we are very badly poisoned. Let's see, how low is our HP now? Yeah, we're taking a lot of damage now. Sudowoodoo, yes, yes, okay, that's a rock type. That means that Drain Punch will be super effective. I don't know if we'll be able to take it out in a single hit, but at least we'll restore some HP. Not as much as I would have liked. If it was more than half, that would have been perfect. Let's see, how much HP do we heal? We'll probably take more damage from Poison this turn. Head Smash. Does that kill us? If that doesn't kill us, let's see. That kills us, okay. So we don't even have to worry about the poison killing us because that just killed us. All right, let's go Purple Rai. We have defeated only one of her Pokemon. She has four left. So can Purple Rai take out four of her Pokemon? Okay, what should I do? Psychic or Ice Beam here? Or Drain Punch? I think I'll go for the Ice Beam here. I don't know if it's good enough to defeat it, but we'll try. Yes! Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Okay, Sudowoodo has been defeated. Goodbye, Sudowoodo. So I guess Sudowoodo's regular defense is probably better than its special defense. Or at least my defense, or at least my special attack is better than my regular attack. Ah, oh, now we've got another tough choice. What do we do against this Whiskash? Psychic or Drain Punch? That's a tough choice. Okay, let's use the Psychic, I guess. We could also use Ice Beam. Ice Beam would be normally effective. Oh, that was great. Uh, let's see, how much does Bulldoze do? But that lowers our speed, right? Let's see. Speed fell. Hopefully, we'll, we are still faster. Okay, we are still faster. Okay, so Psychic can take it out. Oh, no, but there's going to be a Golem soon. I remember, her Golem is very frightening because it's very fast. So, oh, and here's the Golem. Here it is. Is this her final Pokemon or does she have one more still? She still has one more after this. Now, do I Drain Punch because it's super effective? Ice Beam because it's super effective? I'm gonna go for an Ice Beam here. We're still faster, yes. Okay, and how strong is that? Ah, oh, cause it has the sturdy ability, right? N now are we dead? Are we dead from Earthquake? Please don't be dead, please don't be dead, please. Okay, good, 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 good. Now do I Ice Beam or Sucker Punch? You know what? I am going to hope that she tries to heal and I'm gonna use a Drain Punch to get some HP back. No, she doesn't go for the heal, that's so sad. Okay, well, at least we heal 1 HP, right? We heal 1 HP. Yeah, we get 1 HP back from that. Oh, no, but here comes her final most frightening Pokemon. Let's see if we can take on this Hippodon. It's probably got a pretty good special defense. Oh, no, and it's a Sandstorm. So even if we luck out and we survive, if it gets an attack on us, then the Sandstorm will finish us off, which won't be good. So I think Ice Beam would be our best bet. Maybe we have a chance at freezing it. One in 10 chance of freezing. Please freeze it. That'd be great if it freezes. <gasps> ah! It doesn't get defeated. It uses Earthquake. Don't kill me, please. No, that's so sad. <laughs> sad times. Okay, so we've lost here a few times. Bertha's Golem causes a lot of problems normally. So let's use an Ice Beam. If it's sturdy ability, doesn't save it. Ah, uh, did save it. Okay. I don't know if it always saves it or if there's a chance that it won't. Okay, it uses an earthquake, which will be pretty powerful. Yeah, we're down to less than half health now. I'm going to hope that she uses a full restore now. Please use a full restore. Okay, good. So we get to use a drain punch and heal some HP. Hopefully it does a lot of damage. If it deals 
Like, significantly more than half? Ah, it's less than half. That's so sad. Okay, how much HP do we recover? Okay, we recover a bit of HP. That's not horrible. So an Ice Beam should finish it off. Unless it has the sturdy ability, save it again. Please don't. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so we are at a bit over half health, and we've got to take out our final Pokemon now. So we're gonna need a bit of luck here. Maybe quite a bit of luck because Sandstorm is active. Oh man. What do I even do? Do I go for a Drain Punch right at the start? No, I'll go for an Ice Beam. Ice Beam, protect me! It almost defeats it, it's so close. Okay, it uses Earthquake, how much does that do? Gets us into the red. Wait, and the Sandstorm hits us? Oh! If the Sandstorm hits me again, then we lose. Uh, I guess I'll do a Drain Punch then. Okay, she uses a full restore. Okay, so if we do Drain Punch, hopefully that heals us enough HP so the Sandstorm doesn't kill us. And then hopefully we can finish off Hippodon with an Ice Beam. That would be the ideal situation. That would be the ideal way to win. Okay, we're hit by the Sandstorm. Does 10 damage. Now then, Ice Beam, please. Please, Ice Beam, finish off Hippodon. Please, Ice Beam, please. Yes! Oh, man, what a close battle. Oh, man, our other Pokemon is fainted. This Pokemon has 12 HP left. There's still a Sandstorm going. That was close. All right, time to face number three of the Elite Four, Flint, the Fire-type user. We don't have anything particularly strong against him because I don't think Darkrai can learn Surf. We don't know Earthquake, we don't know Bulldoze, we don't know any good rock moves. What should I start with? Psychic Foul Play or Drain Bunch? Confuse Ray is also an option. I guess let's start with this Psychic to see how much- Oh! Oh! Ah, uh, that's an Uno Reversal card if I've seen one before. Dark Ray's- Dark Ray is known for putting the opponents to sleep. I didn't expect that I'd get put to sleep. And it's- Oh! Okay, it's attack missed. I'm still asleep. I'm going to hope that we wake up. Use Iron Tail. Not much damage. Okay, we wake up. We use Psychic. How powerful is Psychic? Ah, about half. I'll use one more Psychic. No! How could you land Hypnosis twice in a row? To 60% chance of landing each time. It's like a 36% chance of landing two Hypnosis in a row. Please wake up. Okay, another Iron Tail. Uh, we're getting some damage onto us. We're getting some damage onto us. Another Iron Tail. We're still alive. Oh, what fell? Defense? Defense fell. Okay, we wake up. We use Psychic. Okay, goodbye Rapidash. One. Okay, now I can say goodbye Rapidash. One of his Pokemon has been defeated. One of his Pokemon have been defeated. But my Darkrai is almost dead. But that's a normal type, so Drain Punch. How are you faster? <gasps> what HP? Tough to not say what it feels like. Thank you, Darkrai. Thank you so much, Darkrai. Okay, this should be super effective. Okay, not bad. Took away about half of its health. And how much does that heal us? 50. Eh. Oh, wait, and what does it have? What does it have? It has leftovers. Okay, please don't kill me. Oh, we get to go first. Yes. Oh, we defeated it too. That's a surprise. I didn't think that we would do that much damage. Okay, sure, we're back in the green now. Wow, the tides are really turning in this battle. Okay, okay, so two of his Pokemon are down. Oh no, Steelix, uh-oh. I have had a lot of trouble with one of these before. Now then, Foul Play, Drain Punch, or Confuse Ray. You know what? I think Confuse Ray might honestly be my best shot. I've just gotta get lucky with Confuse Ray. I need this Steelix to hurt himself in Confusion a bunch. Let's see, Steelix became confused. Please hurt yourself in confusion. No! Bad Steelix, bad! Defeated by Darkrai. Oh man, that's a powerful attack. Well, at least it's still confused. And you know what? I don't think I've frozen very many opponent's Pokemon. So maybe I have a chance at freezing this guy. If we freeze him, that'd be very nice. Please freeze him. Whoa! That does much more damage than I thought it would. Okay, what are you gonna do? Bro, you're supposed to be confused! Oh man, that's a lot of damage. Okay, well, hopefully Ice Beam finishes it off. Okay, so I guess that Confuse Ray was literally a waste of a turn. And now our final Dark Ray is almost at- Oh, Drift Flame! Okay, sure, sure. That's Ghost Flying, right? So, are you telling me Ice Beam will take it out in a single hit? Please? Please? Come on, come on, please, please? Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! 
Okay, wait, what is his final Pokemon? Wait, 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 isn't it the, uh... Isn't his final Pokemon Infernape? It's Infernape, isn't it? I can feel your determination! Your will is overpowering me! Every time I see that line, I think of Undertale. Alright. Let's use the Psychic. I really hope we're faster, but Infernape is very fast, so this is terrifying. Mock Punch, of course! Oh, man! We're done. Okay, Drift Blim. Okay, and an Ice Beam will be able to take out this guy in a single hit. Wait a minute, for some reason I was thinking that this guy's gonna send out a Golem, but this guy doesn't have the- <gasps> What?! What was that?! What was that?! I've never not defeated that Drift Blim immediately! Minimize- Uh-oh, evasiveness goes- Oh, no. Oh, no, evasiveness sharply went up. Please land Ice Beam. Hob. Oh no, and it switches! Oh no, uses Baton Pass! So now we're facing off against an Infernape with boosted evasiveness. Okay, well at least our Ice Beam landed, that's gonna do almost no damage. Wait, whoa! That did much more damage- oh, cause it's a critical- <gasps> FROZEN! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Alright! Okay, ah, uh, this guy thought he was being smart by using Minimize and Baton Pass. But little thought out, thought out. <laughs> oh man, oh that, oh man. I don't think I should play this game ever again after that. I think I should quit Pokemon forever after seeing that. Now please let me defeat the Drift Blim. We should be able to defeat the Drift Blim with an Ice Beam every time, except for that one time I've done it, and it still survives again. How does it just survive like that? Is it gonna use Minimize again? Tell me it's gonna use Minimize again. Tell me it's gonna use Minimize. Okay, it uses Minimize. Hopefully he uses Baton Pass, because I'm going to use Psychic, and hopefully Psychic lands. Let's see. Okay, uses Baton Pass. Okay, so Infernape's going to come out. Hopefully Psychic lands. If Psychic lands, we have a chance at winning. If it doesn't land, then we're basically done for. Please land. Please defeat it in one hit. Please, please, please. Does it have a focus stash? Is that what happened? It has a focus stash. Now the question is, is he going to use a full restore or is he going to attack? Because if he uses a full restore, Psychic is a good choice. If he attacks, then I should use Sucker Punch. I'm gonna go for a Psychic. Okay, he uses a full restore. Please land Psychic, please, 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 please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please defeat it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Ah, uh, what luck. Okay. I can feel your determination. Your will is overpowering me. Yeah, now you're gonna send out your Drift Blim. Ah, uh, that actually worked out so perfectly. The situation is heating up. I'm blazing now. All right, so an Ice Beam should finish this guy off. Super effective, because it's a ghost flying type. Oh man, I can't believe how much luck we needed to win this fight, but winning this fight was a very, very nice one. Ah, uh, thank goodness we finally did it. Hey, Purple Rye, wait, where did you go? Purple Rye, how is that fight? What do you have to say about this? Purple Rye seems delighted to be spending time with you. Well, isn't that lovely? Come up the elevator with me. <laughs> it's so funny see it stand on the edge of the elevator like that. Let's face off against Lucian, number four of the Elite Four, just before the champion. He is the Psychic Type user, and we finally have someone that we are super effective against. He's the Psychic Type user. Dark is super effective against Psychic. But at the same time, I'm a little worried because some of our dark type moves can only be used in certain situations. Like, I actually got rid of foul play here because it was very weak on Mr. Mime. Because Shadow Claw should be super effective on Mr. Mime also, right? Let's see. Ah, it doesn't do as much damage as I would like it to do. Okay, he uses light screen. Hmm. Now, this is a tough choice because. The way that Foul Play works is the stronger the target's attack is, the more damage you do. So you know what? I think Confuse Ray might be okay now. I probably should have started with Confuse Ray. Doing Confuse Ray right at the start of the fight might be a better move. Let's see. Does it hurt itself in Confusion? Please do. Please don't use Dazzling Gleam. Okay, it used Dazzling Gleam and it didn't hurt itself in Confusion. And I'm almost dead now. If I use a Shadow Claw, then he'll probably use a full restore. Okay, critical hits can land pretty easily with Shadow Claw, apparently. So let's try it. Maybe we could get a critical hit if we're lucky. I guess we're not lucky. Maybe it could hurt itself in confusion. <gasps> it did, but it doesn't defeat itself, right? No, it doesn't. That's so sad. Okay, 
Uh, what now? Is he gonna use a full restore? Yeah, he uses a full restore. If we could land a critical hit, that would be great. Okay, and it's not confused anymore, of course, because a full restore was used. So how's that critical hit, please? Was that a critical? That was a critical hit. Okay, now can we finally defeat it with a Shadow Claw, please? Please? Okay, good, good, good. Mr. Mime has been defeated. Oh, we got another critical hit. Nice, two critical hits in a row. Now Giraffarig is out next. Oh, it's not Giraffarig, it's Medicham. Okay. Oh, it knows fighting type moves though, which is absolutely horrifying. Okay, so if we use Shadow Claw, this will be super effective. Psychic would be normally effective. Our best shot is either this or Confuse Ray and hoping to get lucky. So I'll go for this. Critical hit would be nice too. Okay, that does a bit more than half. High jump kick, okay, so we're dead. That basically means we're dead. Yeah, we are dead. Goodbye, Darkrai. You did a good job while you were here. But now, it is time for Purple Rai. Hopefully Purple Rai will avenge you. We took out one of his Pokemon, so he has four left. So you've gotta take out four of his Pokemon with just this one. Now, Shadow Claw or Sucker Punch? I think Shadow Claw should be able to finish it off, right? Let's see, and we're first. Okay, so that's very nice, and Okay, good, good, good. I was worried that maybe we wouldn't be strong enough because this one is a lower level. But we are strong enough. That is good. That is very good. All right, Giraffarig. This is a tough choice. It's a normal Psychic type, so I don't know if that means that Shadow Claw won't affect it because it's Ghost. So I think that means that it might not affect it. Drain Punch would be normally effective. Ice Beam. Just let me freeze it. Let me freeze it. That'd be hilarious if we froze it. Come on, freeze it. Didn't freeze it. Okay, it uses Trick Room. Now then, is it going to use some kind- Oh, Light Screen were off. Maybe that's why Ice Beam was so weak. Now then, I'll probably use an Ice Beam and then a Sucker Punch. I think that's the way that I'll do it. Let's try an Ice Beam here. Oh, you used the Light Screen. Ha ha, ha ha. You don't want my Ice Beams to be powerful. No, you don't. Uh, should I go for a Sucker Punch now? That is the question, because this only damages it if it's doing an attack that does damage. Okay, so it used Trick Room, it used Light Screen, it's probably gonna use a normal damaging attack now, so let's use Sucker Punch. Let's see, and it should be super effective. How strong is it? Yes! All right, there we go. Goodbye, Giraffarig. Another Pokemon down. Alakazam! Hmm. Uh, it's... Probably gonna start off with like a future sight or something, so I shouldn't start off with a sucker punch. Oh, but Shadow Claw will be super effective. And we're slower, so we get to go first because Trick Room is active. Very nice. Was that a critical hit? That wasn't a critical hit. It used Nasty Plot. Okay, okay, okay. Special attack goes up. Uh, special attack sharply goes up. Okay. If Trick Room is still active, we should get to go first, and that should defeat it. No, he uses a full restore. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, wait, but if we get a critical hit, we probably defeat it. Let's see. Ah! <laughs> Take that, Alakazam! Okay, this. Oh, the Twisted Dimensions return to normal. Uh oh. Ah, oh, now what should I do? Alright, he sent out Bronzong. Uh, Psychic Steel type. So, Ghost is super effective against Psychic. And Ghost is normally effective against Steel. So that means that this attack ends up being normally of or sorry, this attack ends up being super effective against Bronzong. But I'm absolutely terrified of his Bronzong, even though we're at full HP. We could also use Sucker Punch. I'm not sure if Shadow Claw or Sucker Punch would be better though. Let's start off with a Shadow Claw. Hopefully it uses like Trick Room or something like that. Does so little damage. Trick Room, okay. Uh, now the question is, do I go for a Sucker Punch? Oh, Light Screen wore off. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't think that affects this move because this is physical, right? Yeah, this is physical. This move's also physical. Ah, uh, now do I go for an Ice Beam? Do I go for a Shadow Claw? Definitely not Drain- Oh wait, Drain Punch would be normally effective. Now what move is it going to use? That is the question. Mmm, this is such a tough choice. This is an incredibly tough choice. I will go for- I'll go for a Shadow Claw here. Gyro Ball, okay. Okay, 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 that's not bad, not bad. Okay, we almost defeated it. Oh, that was a critical hit, okay. And it has a berry, okay, it's going to heal up now. Now then, the question is, if we use Sucker Punch, can we defeat it? That is the question. Oh man, because we get same type attack bonus, so that's 1.5 damage, I don't know if that's enough. I might have to risk it. This is absolutely terrifying, though. I don't know if this attack is going to be strong enough to defeat it. 
We use it and... Oh! Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, that is absolutely amazing. I'm so glad that worked. What a huge relief. Oh my goodness, I'm almost shaking from that luck that we just had with Lucian over there. Uh, Darkrai doesn't want to ride the elevator up with us this time. You know what? Let's get Darkrai to ride the elevator with us. Oh, can you not take the elevator back down? Oh no, you can't take it back down. All right, Darkrai, are you ready to take on Cynthia now, the champion? Purple Rye is cuddling up against you. Brr, it's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's a kind of funny description of Darkrai. But here we are, champion Cynthia. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. This is going to be an absolutely wild battle over here. Okay, so we are quite a bit stronger now. We are coming here with a new strategy. We have died many, 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 many times to Cynthia's Lucario. But I think we have a pretty good strategy now with some new moves. And I think this might just let us win. I think with this strategy, I think we'll be able to blast through her Pokemon. So we've got the move Nasty Plot now, which sharply raises special attack. So I'll use that once or twice against the first Pokemon, and then hopefully Darkrai can just one-shot her entire team. That would be the ideal strategy. So yeah, that Dark Pulse does a bit of damage. I'll use another Nasty Plot over here. And then hopefully, because now we have two... Now we have our special attack sharply raised twice. Okay, it uses Shadow Ball. Please don't lower my special defense. I don't think it's too important, but just please don't. Okay, not very effective. We could use one more Nasty Plot. You know what? Let's use one more Nasty Plot because Darkrai is super fast, so I think we might be faster than all of her Pokemon. So we'll do this. Hopefully no one uses like Mock Punch or Quick Attack or some version of that. Because then they might be able to defeat Darkrai. But like this, let's see, I think Ice Beam might be able to take it out in a single hit now. Because our special attack sharply rose three times. Yes, yeah, so there we go. Spear Tomb is just gone. Garchomp is very likely also going to get defeated because that attack will be double super effective. Even though Garchomp has the berry that makes Ice attacks do less damage. Okay, so over here, we'll use a Psychic. That should take out Rose Raid in a single hit. I'm not super worried about this. We should definitely be able to take out that one in a single hit. There we go. Now then, but Lucario. The question is Lucario. Will we be able to defeat the Lucario? Because let's see, here comes the Lucario. If we could defeat this, we could probably defeat the rest of her turn. Now then, Psychic is normally effective, so I'm going to use Psychic. Probably taking it out in a single turn because we have very many boosts. Yeah, there we go. That's what we needed. We've died so many times to that Lucario, but with Nasty Plot, Nasty Plot is such a powerful move. Gastrodon, wait a minute, what type is Gastrodon again? Gastrodon is a water ground type. So do I use Psychic or Ice Beam? That is the question. I guess it doesn't really matter too much. We'll use an Ice Beam then. Let's use an Ice Beam because we're using lots of Ice Beams. That should take it out in a single hit, even though it's normally effective. We have our special attack boosted so much. That is just like, we, we are just way too powerful. And also we're quite a bit of a higher level. Oh wait, Melotic, that's just pure water. So Psychic should probably take it out in a single hit. Let's see. Yeah, if you can go, oh, and it's a critical hit. Once you can get a few nasty plots, the fight is just so easy. But I'm still wondering about the Garchomp. I can't remember the last time I was put into a corner like this. Because when you were misbehaving in school, Cynthia, that's when it happened. Hey, that's our final Pokemon. Can we take it out with an Ice Beam? A double super effective move? Because Garchomp is Ground Dragon. But it has a berry that makes Ice type moves do less damage. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see, it eats its berry. Can we still defeat it in a single turn though? Yes, we can. Nice try. That berry did not help Garchomp, unfortunately. Nasty Plot is just incredible. I feel like we could take on anything with that Nasty Plot attack. Thank you so much for joining me on this incredible journey. You might like my video where we play through this game with just Mewtwo and Shiny Mewtwo. I hope you have an amazing day ahead of you, and take care, everybody.